We're about to that's the <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mary. So today I'm going to be talking about freshman advice. Things that I wish someone told me as a freshman or even before I entered high school so I wouldn't be freaking out and uh, <laughs> losing my life. I'm just going to ride on to the steps because I feel like there really doesn't need to be an intro. I'm literally giving an advice. So first tip, don't be dumb. Like, just try. I'm not meaning like, oh my god, go hardcore with your studying, like don't even eat at that point. But I'm saying actually try because I feel like a bunch of freshmen get the rotten memo that you shouldn't even try because freshman year doesn't really count. I mean, it is one of the easiest years of the high school experience, but at the same time, you know, you gotta, you gotta try because then you'll get in the habit of it and you don't want to suck with your grades. My second tip, if you know that you're a bad test taker, just make sure that all of your classwork and homework assignments are all hundreds and all A's. That's what I did for me, and then when I bombed the test, I was perfectly fine. Like, my grade was still up there, it was still an A. And no, it's not because I'm Asian. I know you were thinking that. That's, that's like the savage way of living. Honestly, don't slack off when you realize that your grade is just... <sighs> gonna put you in a grave because your parents are gonna freaking kill you and you don't have any way to like bring it up honestly you're kind of screwed at that point so just make sure you kind of keep consistent with grades and always check your grades number three don't procrastinate just don't honestly procrastinating will do the worst in the future and again you'll get in the habit of doing it I got in the habit of doing it and then by the time it became like finals week I realized that I had no way of bringing my grade up even if it was finals maybe bring it up by a couple points but what if I failed the final because again I'm a really bad test taker so honestly I wasn't really thinking through my head my first semester of freshman year honestly was I ever thinking in my head probably not will I ever think in my head what helps me not procrastinate is just being on FaceTime with someone else probably for you guys it might like distract you because you're talking to your friend but normally when I'm on FaceTime with someone it makes me a little bit more productive and we don't even have to be talking the other person can just be like eating and stuff and I'm literally just doing my homework I just need someone to be there or else I'm just gonna start watching like Shameless or Mean Girls or uh some things number four i think wait one two three. pretty sure this is the fourth one this goes on with the social part of the video and like the actual life of being in the high school or done with the academics because like i give up hint hint you don't have to be friends with everyone yes it's super fun just being friends with everyone and you always have each other's back and stuff but sometimes it's better to stick with your own group because i literally love my group like i consider them basically family i call them whenever i need them whenever i'm sick whenever i'm sick of school yes you can be friends with everyone but just make sure you know who your real friends are there's some fake people out there number five just try to get involved because you don't ever know who you'll meet along the way number six drama just stay out of it you don't need that in high school you don't need all that negativity and for all those senior boys trying to get to you drop them except like if you guys want to be friends that's totally cool like i have friends who are seniors that were guys they never tried to harm me but like, don't get in a relationship with them. They're already leaving anyways, and you have the rest of high school to understand while they already had high school figured out. And maybe they didn't, but good luck to them. And also for those haters out there, just drop them. If someone's causing negativity in your life, just drop them. You are cookie monster. <laughs> oh my god! Oh jeez, oh my god! Bye-bye. <laughs> Number seven. My biggest tip is don't bring a big backpack no one told me if you were five one or five feet that you should probably not be wearing a north face backpack north face backpacks are pretty big and if you're considering like those north face backpack that every practically youtuber has which is like gold and black and all that just consider your height and how you look on it because honestly no one told me i looked like gary okay no one told me i looked like patrick star's house Okay, well actually some of my friends told me, but honestly, I got a new backpack at that year because I was so done with everyone just like looking at me. If you honestly rock the look with the backpack and everything and your five feet, I'm so proud of you. Like I give you so much credit for all that. 
but honestly I did not look good in it and I looked so bad I looked like an actual freshman so just just don't and my last tip number eight um this just goes out to every freshman who really thinks that freshman year is gonna suck it's not but I did finish freshman year as a good start, as a good base-ish. I learned to draw people out of my life. I learned to take more people into my life. I've learned to really be involved in my school. Like I'm involved in a lot of things and I don't even know how I'm gonna keep up my grades or myself or how do you even drink eight cups of water a day with everything you're doing? Honestly, I learned a lot of lessons in my freshman year that I will probably never do throughout my high school thing. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video and give it a thumbs up because that would really mean the world to me. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down below. And I love you guys so much to bring them back. Bye.